It's been a while since I've made an audio log, so I guess an update is pretty overdue. Um, our mission has been slightly successful. We've pressed the Anawet Federation from the Galactic South to the East and Naha sector, only a couple of jumps from their home sector. We've taken a lot of territory from the Federation. While this minor faction is not our goal or major target, I feel as if it's a necessary stepping stone along our path. Some of you listening to this log may be asking why, and frankly, it's it's a test. If we can't take out this minor vassal of the Empire, what hope do we have to take on its full might? The Empire is dangerous. Me and my brother learned that all too well. But thankfully, the New Republic has kept them at bay long enough for us to garner forces to strike back. I remember those who have given their lives. Too many lives. There's an old saying from long, long time ago that we've begun to adopt. No mission too difficult. No sacrifice too great. Commander Baron, we are getting reports from the front lines, and none of them are good. The fleet is requesting your presence as a way to bolster morale. Yeah, that's fine, Phoebe. Just uh, go ahead and tell Wait. them- Wait! It seems that you are being hailed by the ISD Indomitable in the Hollow Room. Would you like me to deny the request? Go ahead and deny the request for us, and uh, do me a favor and let me know how we managed to let an Imperial Star Destroyer into our sector unbeknownst to us until they decided to hail us. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and set auto nav to the East Naha sector. Setting auto nav to the East Naha sector immediately. Prepare for jump to hyperspace. What is going on, guys? Zephyrus here, and welcome back finally to another episode of X4 Foundations with the Star Wars Interludes mod. Now. Where we left off, um, I managed to record an entire episode with zero microphone audio. So, as you saw in the beginning, there was just a little bit of a recap. Not too much, but enough for there to be some understanding. So, we managed to completely take the Terminus Sector and push up into the East Anaha Sector. We have destroyed multiple, multiple uh, factories, and uh, we are building a defense platform that is currently under attack by a Nebulon B as well as its medium escort. Our Dornian gunship is defending valiantly, but we are coming in to assist. Um, they managed to place a defense platform in our sector. We will deal with that after we have cut off this sector. That being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the... Oh, there's a small contingent of fighters over here. Where are you guys going? That's kind of worrying. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and should be jumping anytime soon. There we go. And oh, wait. Oh, I love that. We jump out now that there's medium ships and then our uh, our fighters are undocking to intercept for us. All right, Captain Evans, I'll be taking command. I've also decided to take a, um, hold on, let me pause this real quick. I've decided to take a attack capital ships, attack my current enemy, um, take a large ship as my personal ship due to uh, it moving faster than the extra large ships. So all of them are armed. All right. Opening fire. My turrets are going to go ahead and open up on the Q-Rax right there. I'm going to stay just out of range as we continue to open fire. That being said, uh, as soon as our ships decide to jump into sector, I'm going to go ahead and micromanage. I'm going to have... No, no, no. I'm going to have you four. How about you guys? Yeah, all four of you lose all of your orders and attack this. How about you do that? How about you do this up and then same thing? All right, you guys are doing good. What about you? You are set to intercept. So these guys will be dealing with the mediums and the smalls. So that being said, I'll let my turrets properly manage the other ships moving around and we will continue to fire onto this Nebulon B. If our large turrets decide to open up. Alright, the medium mediums are opening up again so we can get in a little bit closer. So we can let most of our other guns begin to open up. 
We vulture and sector. Oh, we, we lost the vulture. I'm not worried about that. All right, the closer we get, the more turns we have that will begin to open up, which is perfect for me. All right, they're not doing much against our against our shields, which is good. Didn't think it would be so. This this Nebulon V shouldn't be too much of a problem anymore. Ooh, that was a big hit. I don't know what that was. But that took a lot out. We lost an X wing. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and finish off this this uh, Nebulon B. B wing, you're fine. Escape. What are you? You're just a transport. Go ahead and focus. Oh, the lag. Go ahead and focus on. We don't even need to focus on the turrets. Okay, can we just finish this off? There we go. Nice. All right. That being said. All right. So we have managed to do that. Let's get a couple of these out. Are there any? There's a there's a CR ninety down below. So let's go ahead and turn our oh no we lost oh we just lost the dornian gunship we got here in time to help but not enough to save the lives of the crew members that's fine let's go ahead and move properly so we can begin opening fire and guns away i like i like managing uh large ships instead of extra large it, it makes me feel a little bit like more into the battle i'm actually going to use my boost to get a little bit closer just so we can open up with the rest of our guns. Oh, this thing isn't lasting long. Oh, look at that full salvo. Goodbye. That didn't last for long at all. All right, we managed to say, oh no. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What are you? Start guidance. That's fine, we're gonna go ahead and move. Actually, you know what? I will do autopilot just so that can happen. Uh, these guys are taking a lot of fire. We're probably gonna lose both of these. That's all right. These B-Wings are fighting this Kirax up here. What about the rest of my fleet? They are absolutely decimating the hell out of this ore refinery. Good job, guys. And then that's it. I think I told them to destroy those, but other than that, we should be good. That being said, I don't care about autopilot. All right, let's go ahead and turn properly and we can begin opening fires. Yeah, there we go. We, we're, we're within range. I don't know why our uh, larges aren't, aren't opening fire. Oh, because I have it set to attack capital ships. No, attack my current enemy. Well, it's dead now, so it doesn't matter. External view. Where are you going? turning properly just gonna go ahead and oh these these turrets have a have a good range of or a good uh, range of motion i think it is um so that's that's pretty good they can shoot at things that aren't directly in front of us which is one of the perks of having turrets opposed to forward guns just gonna go ahead and turn properly that thing is gone absolutely all right, so our B wings should be coming back to. Hello. Can I? I'm sorry. Okay, my my commands weren't listening. That's perfectly fine. So that being said, we have done this, and we are going to begin pulling out a couple of ships. I want to see how. I want to test my uh my might against this defense platform i don't want to use a lot of ships i want to use just a couple to see what is properly needed that being said also uh a, a good thing to uh mention that i haven't mentioned before as i've updated some of the names of requests that i have gotten uh i have updated the enforcer to the svs law i've updated the mc75 i believe to the svs uh, leviathan by Commodore Dredney. The SVS Laws uh, is helmed by Captain Bravo. So all the extra large ships, their their pilots are going to be referred to as Commodore, opposed to um, Captain. Same thing with the SVS Karma 2, also being helmed by Commodore Fletcher. Let's see what else we got. Um, no, None of the large ships, the extra large ships. Let's see. Commodore Skylord, 
I believe there was one or two other ships that I added, but I don't know where they're at. Let's come up here. Um, SVS Heretic was already here. SVS Law. SVS Leviathan. Did I not save them whenever I changed them? I could have sworn there was more. Maybe not. Maybe I am dyslexic. If you guys see a name here, make sure to comment it. That I That is new that I haven't said anything about. Um, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Oh, the SVS Cerberus down here by Captain Dyer. I know he asked for an acclimator, but I don't have an, a spare acclimator. So I just decided to um, set him to a Nebulon. Oh my. What is the storage on this? Let me see. What hypothetically? Wait, what do you what do you need? Okay, so I'm lacking Durasteel plates. All right, so I need refined metals. You're not producing refined metals though. That is the problem. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, so that being said, I'm actually gonna go ahead and build. So refined metals, uh, I'm gonna have right here for the production, and I believe I need solid storage for that as well. Confirm module changes, accept estimate, go ahead and hire a builder, preferably one that I already own. Done. All right, back out. And then I can look at the logicals. So I, it needs ore, not enough resources for production. So that being said, I can just come and drop off ore. So it produces, what do we need? We need energy cells and ore for refinement. That's it? Thankfully, mm, let's get, let's grab one of you. SVS Bulwark. What about the Pelta? No. How about you execute the trade and then afterwards you come. Do you have cargo drones? Let me see. The SVS Bulwark. Just let me cook. Let me cook. I have an idea. Go ahead and upgrade. And then while you're there, you already have cargo drones. Cool, 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 cool. You're done. You don't need the upgrade. So after that, you can come and move directly into this sector and then come and oh there are so many things here come and collect the drops in this sector what is your storage right now nothing i'm actually gonna remove this i can't remove that but it's fine it's fine i would like for i think i might need another large or just just a trader to begin doing it what about you okay you're not doing anything remove assignment Come over here and then just start collecting. Collecting drops. Nice. Okay. You have your orders. You can do that. Do I have anybody else not doing anything? Anyways, what am I doing? I am sitting right here. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing some more ships down here. Not what I meant to do. Or how about this? Set guidance, set on the autopilot. Um, so these sh ships will follow us. This Nebulon B is going to be repaired. This Quasar as well. There is a lot of drops over here and I want them. Because if we can do that, we can supply. Mm, that being said, wait, where are miners? Beria miner. What are you What are you mining? You have Rhydonium. No, you have Silicon. Rhydonium. You're not doing anything. But you remove your assignment. What about you? You have Rhydonium as well. What about you? Rhydonium. 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 Nothing. Silicon. Nothing. Rhydonium. Rhydonium. What do we need Rhydonium for? I don't understand. That's fine. I'm actually going to send you down here to mine for this high-tech factory. Okay. So, the only thing that we're missing for producing ships is Durasteel plates. We don't have a lot of those. So... Uh, hopefully my microphone is still recording because it, un it got unplugged. Um, but so right now or right here, we have we're missing Durasteel plates. However, we have a Durasteel plate factory over here. Um, the only thing is it wasn't producing everything that it needed. Now I have it set up to produce everything and I have two or three ships moving uh, Durasteel plates from here into our shipyards. So hopefully we'll have a, excuse me, a constant stream of Durasteel plates. And personally, that is my goal as of right now. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay, cool. I uh, just needed to make sure everything was recording properly.
that's perfectly fine my microphone is a little bit close so i'm gonna push it away i i haven't had the optimal like audio setup um as of recently so i'm trying to still get that properly done that are okay cool our transport managed to make its way up what are you doing you are supplying the fleet nice okay that being said you guys are doing what you need to do and all of you are attacking a single kirax that's beautiful all right what are you doing do you can i have oh you don't have any of the cargo drones hmm what do i have that can do cargo drones what are you what did i select Five or six cruiser, you can't collect the drops. Hellbringer probably can't collect the drops either. You can. Hellbringer, go ahead and drop all of your um, drones to collect as much as possible. There's going to be a lot of ore. Oh, cool, an autosave. Wow. So now that we're in an autosave, this is probably a great time to say I appreciate the guy's support. As always, we are at 948 subscribers as of right now, and we are very close to the 1,000. So if you like my content and you continue to come back, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? I'd appreciate it. You're coming back anyway, so it'd be easier to find me. Okay, I'm gone until the autosave finishes. That was not very long. I didn't. I'm not even going to cut that. Ooh, okay. Now everybody's undocking to go and attack this single Kirax fighter for whatever reason. Where am I at? I'm in this sector. I have a lot of medium ships. Hopefully this will be enough. However, I do not know. Turret components down here. Wait, why are you? Why does my thing need turret components? Oh, I guess the turrets aren't finished and it needs the components to finish. That would make sense. SVS Bulwark is doing its thing. What about you? What are, what are you doing? Do you have... You have silicon wafers. I'm just making missile components. Okay, what am I missing here? Damaged modules. I'm missing ore and silicon. That's fine. Okay, well, let's just go to plan build. How do I repair? I need to hire a builder. Not hire, but select. All right, you come down here. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that is that to repair? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think it's a repair. Cool. So for this factory, what else do we need? Logical. So we need silicon and... Okay, that's being fixed. We need silicon and... Set that up. Silicon and ore to produce everything that we need here. Well, that being said... Okay, well, you know what? Fine, sure. Let's go ahead and add a Durasteel plate place here anyways. Oh, no, there's already one here. Uh, Sure, let's add two. Why the hell not? All right, so then that means we need a couple of miners here. So let's go ahead and produce a few miners. Okay, sure. I'll grab, you have Rhydonium, Rhydonium. Sure, let's grab you two. And no, let's grab three of you guys and then send you guys up here to mine for your commander. Boom. There you go uh also where am i at why why does my why does my engine thing sound like that okay where is this defense platform that shouldn't be here right there hmm whoa 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 what are you guys undocking for what are you guys going to attack the defense okay well all right well that being said let's go ahead and just select all and then attack, I guess. All right. It's, I believe my uh my jump my hyperspace drive is being activated. It's just charging up. Yep. Ooh, you don't need that long of a range, or or you don't need that close of a range, which is good. All right. Our other ships are jumping in as well. I love I love this little thing on the front. I, I I don't know what it is like this little blue thing. I think it's supposed to like be like a beacon or something, but it just looks like like I'm angling my deflector shields forward, and I think that's cool. I don't know what my shields are at as of right now. All right, let's can we scan it? I don't think we can. It's fine. 
All right, everybody just needs to begin opening fire. As we get in closer, I'm going to start using our full salvo. Wait, uh, am I using my travel drive? I'm very confused as to what is happening. Am I set to autopilot? I shouldn't be set to autopilot. That's fine, though. I don't think we're going to lose too much here. I don't even know if we're going to be able to destroy this. Like genuinely. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna angle us around. I'm gonna get a little bit closer and then I'm just gonna stop moving. I'm gonna get within five kilometers. Because I don't even think this is finished enough for them to start fighting back. Oh no, it has a couple turrets. I believe Oh yeah, it has a couple turrets. Our fighters are, have just uh Oh, yeah, our fighters are focusing down the turns. Let's go. Okay. All right. That's not bad at all. All right. Well, that being said, let's go ahead and stop. All right. You guys can focus on the turrets as well. Good hits. All right. Yeah, let's micromanage this. Can we hit that from here? I don't think so. I think that's on the other side. I think all the rest of the turrets are on the other side. That's perfectly fine with me. We're just going to come along its uh, starboard side or its port side. Is this on the right side or is this on the wrong side? I'm not. I'm not. You can actually just go ahead and stop here. Uh, I think it's inside. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh. Is it inside? I think it is inside. Oh, no, it's right there. Oh, they're building a new part. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, this is what someone was saying. The Anawad Federation was hiring um, enemy uh, or friendly faction builders. Like, this is an ascendancy. And that's why they got past our... Um, our sectors because they were just hiring people we were friendly with and there was no second guessing all right that's fine yeah just keep keep firing anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it here i'm gonna select all of them to attack all enemies and then just let them go at it you guys do what you're gonna do all right gonna just angle this a little bit more all right explosion imminent is that gonna damage me does that damage me let me move I'm gonna stay like right next to it. This is just gonna take a bunch of broadsides. I don't think that damaged us, did it? No, no, it's fine. All right, that being said, I will continue to allow that to happen. So we sh this should be dead pretty soon. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get some quick management underway. There's a Kirax fighter here. All right, so what is happening over here? Oh no, all of the thingies. Did you, did you get ore? You have refined metals? What? Okay, come up here to this and then um, trade for commander's build storage. That's fine. All right, shipyard, shipyard, shipyard. Something else we need to do is we need to start um, buying more like large ship blueprints. Um, it'll, it'll just be easier to make some more money because mainly we're producing like uh, small fighters and everything. And there's just a persecutor, persecutor. Wait, how do you say it? Her pro procurator, procure. I'm not dyslexic, I swear. And then they're just constantly fighting right outside. It's fine. Our shipyard isn't getting destroyed or anything, so we should be okay. Um, upgrade repair dock ships. No. What other dock ships do we have? The miner. Nah, you guys are fine. You guys are a okay. So that's being done properly. That's also being built. You are being upgraded. Why don't you guys just dock?
Yeah, why don't you guys just talk? Just grab you and then just dock and wait, no? Yeah, guys, just dock. Oh, did we destroy the station? Nice! Oh no, we didn't destroy the station. We destroyed a lot of it, though. Alright, sure, let's go ahead and move so they can re-target and re-angle, I guess. There we go. Now they can fire on it. All right, just doing a little bit of cleanup here so we can finish this off. Is that the end of the station? I hope it is. Okay, they're doing that. So that being said, I am going to have a couple of you guys because we still have this large. So we're going to grab the, not the Bellerophon. I kind of want to grab the Bellerophon, but it's going to take too many of our ships. But yeah, screw it. We grab the Bellerophon as well as... Where's our large... Other large ship? SVS Leviathan. Is this the MC-75? Yeah, MC-75 is set to defense. I'm going to grab... The Karma 2, I believe, is a... MC... Oh, the Karma 2 is an MC-80 as well. Okay, cool. I'm grabbing the Karma 2 and I'm going to grab the uh, Leviathan as well as one Nebulon B and this entire contingent to come into this sector and destroy this gra graphene. It's possible that they'll be able to destroy that and the defense station, but I doubt it. Um, so that being said, I'm going to... What are you doing? Wait for signal? No, you're done. Do what you're doing. Okay, cool. We are done. I will also go ahead and continue to move up to this sector. I'm just going to set this as guidance and autopilot. Other than that, the Bellerophon, you can begin opening fire on the new sectors. Automatic release, yes. Cool, you're just gonna do that. Kirax is just gonna come back here and dock. You know what? I'm gonna... Hmm, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and... I want a Quasar. I'm going to get a Quasar and have it just be the dock for all of our scavenged fighters. I think I think that would be pretty cool. Do I have enough for a Quasar? I have no idea. I'm about to find out, though. Do they even have a Quasar? Kantos can hold 12, though. That might be good. Kantos forget. What about the Vindicator? Vindicator? Maybe. Because what? Let's say we go a high preset. 20 million? That's definitely doable. What's the turrets though? Mainly mediums. There's no larges. What about the Contos? Again, mainly mediums. Uh, medium. Oh, I think all of these are mediums. Even the Enforcer Destroyer. Oh, the 546 has larges. Hmm. What can we do? I do like the Quasar. I want something that has high docking capacity. Vindicator has 12. I think most of these are going to have 12. Light Cruiser. And Immobilizer. XL is just going to be Star Destroyer. That has 60. If I have a Star Destroyer, trust me, I'm going to use that on something else. And then the Procursator. Procursator. Yep, that's those are words. What is that? 53 million? I don't, I don't like using Imperial ships, so... Let's grab one of the um, Rebellion oh, uh, large ships. And then use that. Let's go with large. Because there's a couple like this MC-40. Like this. This can hold 10. Torpedo. What about the Nebulon B? Nebulon B can hold a couple. Pelta can hold just one. Nebulon C can't hold many. I can just get a Quasar. That might be it. And then just use that. Or what about the Dreadnought? Dreadnought can hold 10. I want a light cruiser. Or a torpedo cruiser. Get the light cruiser. Or no, I'll, I'll get the torpedo cruiser. Sure. And then just have that be like a flanking thing. I don't have enough money right now. That's fine. Let me go into my thingy. Where am I at? Oh, okay, cool. They've begun their attack. It's perfectly fine. So that being said, let's go ahead and go into the... Uh, down here, gonna accept it. I am negative one billion. That's because I have a couple station that needs multiple hundreds of millions of credits like you. You need 300. You're not getting 300, buddy. Appreciate it. You can have none of that. And then, where is the other one? 
it's like 600 there you go so it needs 600 but it also has two 135 million from making it so i am up 158 million i could put most of that 158 million towards this triton shipyard how about this i'll put 50 million just to make it feel better oh we are now within range just to come and assist I'll just stop. Uh, I'll, I'll assist from long range just to make sure that I don't end up getting targeted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like we have... Looks like we have a good battle about to erupt. So, we have all of these guys set to interception. What are what are you guys? What is, what is this? Is this the sink point? Where's the Bellerophon? Bellerophon's just going to go ahead and... Are you the Blairfin? You are the Blairfin. Trigger sink point. Are they just going to go ahead and attack? Yep. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What if we come over here? Let's go ahead and remove all orders. You guys still have your base orders. You guys are set to escort ship and interception. So that being said, most of them are probably going to pull off. Wow, okay, this is actually going to be a good battle. Where am I at? Where am I at? I don't I don't know where I'm at. I'm right here. Cool. Let's go ahead and set guidance for here. Autopilot's gonna activate the Bellerophon. Bellerophon, go ahead and remove this order. Remove this order too. You got you aren't doing anything right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna have you go ahead and focus on this this uh neutron star. What is it called? Star cruiser. Go ahead and attack that. The Quasar is going to... Mm, no, the Valor is going to be a little bit more of a problem. So go ahead and focus on the Valor first and then the Star Cruiser. That being said, you have a lot of things under your command. Quasar is going to be a little bit closer. All right, I'm going to have you set to... Attack. Oh, there's multiple Valors. Okay, okay. This, this might be good. So I'm going to pull all of the ones that were following me. I'm going to remove all of your orders as of right now. And then send you all in for this quasar. Okay, and the multi mo most of you guys are changing your orders to go ahead and be set for interception. This five cruiser is gonna yep patrol valor nice. Yep, yep. Most of you have your orders properly. Good job. Uh, I'm gonna grab you, you, and is there another large ship around here? You. To just attack this patrol valor. Let's go ahead and remove all of your orders. And then I'm going to have you attack this one first. All right. Done. SVS Heretic is in our Quintons. Going to set you up for the Star Cruiser. And then that being said, there should be a lot of Y-Wings here. Can I select like just the Y-Wings? Uh, no, I cannot. What about this? Object list. Oh, wait a minute. These guys are set to interception. What if I grab all of you guys and then just set you to go and bomb this? What should I say you guys to? Go ahead and take care of this CR-90. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, you guys uh, have your orders. The most of you, at least. Um, We are missing a number of what the f what oh that's right i sent them in here to destroy that okay i don't know if they'll be able to but hopefully they will mm, there's a lot more in there all right um that's probably a good idea i'm gonna go ahead and actually pull you guys out one two and the svs leviathan three gonna go ahead and remove all of your orders and then have you come back up here to assist to the beginning of the sector. I'm going to send you in for the Star Cruiser, all of you. Ah, uh, I guess I guess we get into the battle. All right. Going to watch our um Ooh, their fighters are coming out. Ours are coming in though. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, this is going to be a lot of fighters. Terrence are fighting up against ours. 
Oh, look at wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. I love watching like fighter wings. Like, oh, that's that's awesome. Can I get a screenshot here? I can. That's beautiful. Oh, what are they attacking? Ooh, they're attacking. Uh oh, we're about to lose this X-wing. Yeah, this X-wing is getting ganked. That's all right. Our customs Corvette are coming in. Hopefully, all right, all right, all right. We're 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 beginning to start to show some force. Now, this acclimator, the SVS stalwart. Oh no, we might lose the stalwart because it jumped in on its own. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Because it's it's taking the full barrage of two. Oh, and it has a star cruiser on it. Oh no. Okay, most of these other things are coming in properly. These guys are set to intercept, so they should be good. What about the heretic? Heretic is opening up against you. You're good. I just don't want to lose too many or any at all. All right, that's fine. Let's just continue. I, m most, most of everyone have their orders. There's not much we can do. Just, just return fire. That's all you can do. And it's it's doing it to the best of its ability. Where am I at? I'm gonna go ahead and set. How do I? Mm, how do I become a part of this? You know what? As as standing grad Adm grand admiral, you can go ahead and take command, Evan. I need to uh, navigate and command our fleet properly. So that being said, you can lose that command and come up here and focus on this valor as well all right i love the huge fleet battles if that's going to be the case i'm going to go ahead and command from the Bellerathon. the svs leviathan should be coming in to sector or coming into the fight anytime soon so on the other side of the sector we are losing a lot of fps but it's fine okay man come on nice okay that being said, this is going to be taking the full brunt of this Bellerophon. And that's exactly what's happening. That MC-80 is just going to launch into it. I just... I just like watching. It's very cool there's a reason this is like one of my favorite game series and where are you guys going oh you guys are all set to intercept huh that's fine are we losing anything there's nothing that's in critical condition other than the enemy valor boom gone Kirax is under attack that's fine your main guns are still set to capital ship. So what are you attacking? Are you attacking the station? Don't do that. Don't do that. What are you doing? That's not your order. That being said, the Quasar class or the Quasar fire carrier or fire class. Is this the Quasar? Quasar. Thankfully, its shields are down and it is taking fire from multiple uh, multiple of our customs corvettes. So should be able to. Yeah, should be able to bring it down. I don't know where our customs corvettes are at, but they're they're out there. You can you can you can see the fire. Oh, they're starting to jump out. If we can take this Quasar, I don't mind it, but we can't because um, large military ships we have to. We have to board for anything. All right. This one has its guns opening fire. Oh, look at all those fighters. Are those ours? Are those ours? I don't, oh yeah, most like yeah, those are all ours. Mineral or what do you guys set to? You guys are set to interception. What if I just grab all of you, right? And then just tell you to go and attack this fire carrier. You all have your orders. That singular Y-wing is not that important. It's dead in like five seconds too.
I just want to zoom out and see that it's surrounded by other fighters. Oh yeah, look at the swarm of Y wings. The miner, the mining ship is. You're at the point to where they're having to send civilian ships in to assist. Guys, you don't you don't need to. Oh my god, that is an insane amount of incoming fire. I should start using swarms like this more often. That's the thing. They're going to continue to attack the, um, like your, your orders. How about this? Yes. Remove all orders. Yep. And it's going to lag a bit. That's fine. And then just attack this. Boom. And you will be turning around. Nice. And then they're going to jump to travel speed so they can get close. That miner is really trying to be a part of this fight, like trying its best. I'm going to watch the B-Wings just because they're slightly more interesting. Oh, yeah, look at that. I believe that the Dreadnought died. I think that's exactly what happened. Yeah, the Dreadnought died. Wow, okay. Well, their defensive operation did not go as planned in the slightest. They're building another freaking defense platform. Okay, I need to build a secondary reaction fleet specifically for taking care of these. That being said, I'm going to purchase... You know what? These guys are doing good. It's fine. I'm going to move to here and then grab the SVS Defiant. What are you guys said to? Boom. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to tell you to lose that. I'm going to have you come down here. This 546 cruiser is my personal personal command vessel for whenever I'm not engaging in fleet battles. As well as a numerous amount of customs corvettes that are following it. All right. So that being said, the Bellerophon what are your orders? Your orders are to not hold and wait. Your orders are to finish off this station. And then same thing with this one. Can you go ahead and attack? Yes. And then we're going to go ahead and attack this one as well. We're going to coordinate that attack though. All right. We have the defense platform in this sector. So as soon as we destroy that one, we are good to go. Are you guys being, are you guys okay? I don't, I can't tell if you guys are okay or not. The SVS Law, oh, the Enforcer is over here, that's why. What do we have here? The SVS Karma 2 is here. Okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. What is happening? All right. All right, we're beginning to open fire on the station again. Ugh, I love watching how many fighters we have. Okay, so for the end of this episode, we're going to start focusing on logistics once again so we can make sure that everything is done properly. How many Durasteel plates do I have? Refined metals. I need refined metals. Um, let's go ahead and take up a lot of container space for the refined metals. Not enough resources for production. Or or and energy cells done helium. No, we we have a lot of what? Do we need to build more refined metals? Yeah, do I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to build more refined metals. Rhydonium core, we have a lot of those. What Wait, what am I building rhydonium cores for? I'm so confused. For storage, I guess. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and build another modules waiting for storage. Okay. Let's... Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, we, we have the storage. Okay, let's go ahead and plan build. We need some more refined metals. And this clusterfuck of a fucking station. Boom. Confirm. Done. Yes, you can have the money. Assign and pull back. All of you guys are busy. Okay, let's go with BAO. Yeah, 
you come over here and do this. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump to a different sector, preferably the Republic sector. Ooh, some of our ships are ready over here as well. Good to know. I'm going to jump to this scimitar because I have this here specifically so I can do this. What is this? Dreadnought and a... Oh, cool. Another autosave. That is perfectly fine. All right. Let's grab this MC-40. You are all going to be set to attack with. I have other forces in the sector. All right, come and move over here. All right. We have the SVS Cerberus by Captain Dyer, as well as another Nebulon C is going to be set to attack for this MC-80R. I don't know what the difference between the other MC. Oh, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. This is our new, um, our new carrier. What? That's not what I selected. External. MC80 Reef Home. This is basically the home one. Oh, this is great. So now we have our proper, um, not carrier, but center of our fleet. And then as soon as we get that back to um, the right place, I'm going to grab, hold on, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to grab all of you guys, tell you to remove all orders and assignments. And then you are going to be set to intercept for the reef home. Uh, guys, go ahead and give me a couple of, um, what's the word? couple of ideas for the name of the ship in the comments um i'm thinking of two i think it was the svs sanctuary um which is a little bit basic and then another one that i can't remember as of right now but i think i think i think that is a good name if you have any other names for what the home like ship should be called just go ahead and let me know can i jump out of here please thank you oh okay give, give me give me out okay cool what autopilot was engaged i'm confused Night, get out, please. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the representative's office, see if we can buy some blueprints. I know that the blueprints are super expensive, but it's okay. Show me blueprints, ships, large. What blueprints are there to buy? Nebulon C, Nebulon B, we could get the Quasar, but if we want one of these, or if we use the same amount, we can buy the Dreadnought, and the Nebulon C. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Not what I meant to do. Um, but come down here to account management. And then down here, give me all your money. I don't care about you anymore. I gave you money to, to allow you to build more, but I don't care. And you've already built me another cool million. Done. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Take that from you. And then come down here to the Triton and take that from you. Nice. Confirm. All right. 166. All right. So that being said, we can. What about an XL? MC 75 is 300. And 800 million for the home one. Gosh. All right. Let's let's just go ahead and go with large ships. Um, we could buy a torpedo. Uh. A torpedo cruiser. Um, let's read it. It's equipped with powerful shields for a vessel of its size compared to the MC-40A. Its ion cannons and concussion missiles were removed to allow the installation of heavy torpedo launchers. Ooh, what is this? A small cruiser built for Mon Calamari shipyards is equipped with powerful shields as well as long-range weaponry. Or we can do the Dreadnought. Simply the Dreadnought is a type of capital ship built for planetary occupation and space combat used by the Galactic Republic, Empire, and New Republic. Local governments as various other organizations. One of the most ubiquitous ship designs in all the galaxy. What about the Nebulon B? The EF-76 Nebulon B Escort Frigate was built by the Kuat Drive Yards for the use of the Imperial Navy. To protect convoys from the Rebel Alliance Starfighter actions, it was, however, used more famously by the Rebellion. While generally well-armed for a vessel of its size, its midsection connecting spar was an exploitable vulnerability. The escort version is equipped with more anti-fighter weapons. The Nebulon C is a class of frigates built by the Kuat Drive Yards. In terms of armaments, it possesses numerous heavy turbo lasers, point defense lasers, tractor beam projectors, and two proton torpedo launchers, as well as more armaments. I think I'm going to grab the Nebulon C, and in addition, I can grab the Dreadnought if I would like to. What about the Drebunot? Or the Drebunot? The fuck is a Drebunot? 
All right, Dreadnought, I'm going to grab the CR90 while I'm at it, as well as... Oh, I can't grab that anymore. Oh, it's fine. I'll just grab you. Done. But, so the Nebulon C as well as the Dreadnought, but that just means that I need to um, buy equipment. Turrets. No, no, not turrets. Shield generators is fine. What about engines? Is it engines? I think it is engines. Dornian engines. I need that while I'm here. GS80. I don't need the GS80. Hmm. I need some more money. So what? The MC. So now, now I can go ahead and check while most of that is happening. Um. Let's go ahead and pause so we can move a little bit smoother. Shipyards. Uh. Plan build. Nope. Not what I was looking for. Build ships. Large. Cool. Now we have a few more options. So the Nebulon C. We can start producing the Nebulon C. The only downside is that it's mostly medium. I thought it had heavy turbo lasers. Hmm. Unfortunate. Not worried about that. Repair drone. I will get all the repair drones, all the cargo drones, as well as... Yeah, that's good. Doesn't have missiles, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Cool, sure. We're missing Durasteel plates, so I'll have one of you. And then, what about the Dreadnought? We are missing the Dreadnought. What are we missing from the Dreadnought? We are missing it. Thrusters? No. Engine group. These are shields. So the engines for the Dreadnought are what we are missing. All right. That's fine. Oh, wait. Let's actually go ahead and build that Nebulon C. Well, let's build a couple of them. Let's go ahead and pull up with five Nebulon C and confirm construction. We can go ahead and undo that. Let's actually go back down here to our account management and pull a couple monies out of. Sure, let's go ahead and pull money out of the something with a lot. The Kashyyyk equipment dock. Nice. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're at 12 million blueprint equipment engines. The what is this Dornian? I don't need that. MC40. Uh no, Mon Calamari Sublight, Mon Cal, Mon Cal. I think the Neuron engine is exactly what I'm looking for. Rendelli drives. Sublight engine. I think I think the neuron is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's actually give it one more try. Build ships. Large dreadnought. No. Okay. Well that's fine. We can just go ahead and come up here to Encyclopedia. Or wait, no, this? Yes, encyclopedia. There's an encyclopedia somewhere, I swear. What? Am I dis oh it's right here. I am dyslexic. Cool. Um what is it? Dread Not Combat ships, carries and destroyers, dreadnought class. Uh what is it? Can I see it's or wait, can I do a ship comparison? Yeah, I can. It's a large dreadnought class cruiser high what are its engines its engines are the rendelli drd engines cool good to know it better be give me your engines rendelli drd engines i didn't even need a lot of that i'm gonna buy this as well why not and what is this for well, no what is this for did say no i don't care confirm all right that being said we're gonna go ahead and request five dreadnoughts under construction as well not that one i see build and I, i'm a simple man i see build and i click uh dreadnoughts boom hi there we go 20 single turbo lasers 14 quad lasers as well as six dual turbo lasers we're gonna go ahead and add that we're gonna do five of those we're missing a lot of durasteel plates but it's okay all right that being said we are a little bit lower on money as of right now but that's fine they we are going to destroy this droid parts factory and then we're immediately oh no this is a lot of things that we could take i think i'm gonna need a large large ship just free you know what i miss this is such a random fact what i miss from um from x3 is random ships like flying by that are selling their own ship 
um whether it's a little bit damaged so you can get that ship for cheaper or it doesn't have all the equipment so you can also get it for cheaper i miss that so much where it's like hey i'm selling my ship because i got a new one uh if you want it and it's like a yt 1300 for like two million credits and in the beginning of the game that's an awesome choice that's actually like amazing all right so we will end this episode the same way we started it in our personal vessel that i will come up with a name with later unless you guys want to name it um give a give a name for the ship captain evan brax should be uh should be commanding all right he has the exact same strategy as i do too just getting as close as possible and doing a full broadside good job man and the b-wings are helping and being a part of it but other than that i genuinely appreciate you guys coming out uh i enjoy these series as always uh if you like the video please subscribe we're at 948 subscribers only 52 away i will see you guys in the next one and if there's anything like any recommendations you have whether it be gameplay whether it be audio whether it be youtube focus maybe use my webcam a little bit more anything like that just let me know and i'll take everything into consideration i am a smaller youtube channel so i appreciate any amount of help and support that i can get but other than that thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one this is Jack Varen signing out.